Today, we're super thrilled to announce the Magic Box. It allows you to build complex automations by typing. If I was completely honest, this was the very first feature that I thought it cannot be possible. This is not real. Check this out and you be the judge. Let's open the Chrome extension. And here at the top, you have the Magic Box where you can type anything you want to be done. For example, let's get 100 of Elon Musk's most recent tweets in a Google Sheet. Let's try it out. Return, and here's the automation that was built for us. Let me just click on save and run and see what happens. Let's click on the playbook card. We're going to create a new sheet. Here we have the sheet name. Let's call it Elon. And how many tweets we want to get? I want to get 100 of his most recent tweets. Okay, here is the spreadsheet. Let's view it. Bam, there we have it. This is just insane. So what's such a big deal? Well, you no longer need to know how to operate those complex snow code tools to build automations. All you need to do is type and that unlocks so many opportunities for you to really automate your manual work on the computer. Let me demonstrate this point with another example. So here in Gmail, I have another solicitation email that I want to respond to. So I can build an automation for those type of use cases to get an email generated with OpenAI. I'm going to click on Bardeen over here and type something Thing like write an AI generated email as a response to the currently opened email thread. Ask me what to say and provide context. Let's click return. All right, so here's our email. We're going to find the email from the currently open thread. Then here we have our prompt, generate a reply to the following email. We're feeding the body of the email to OpenAI and then we're providing context, which will be asked for every time. Uh, then OpenAI generates that email and it creates a draft as a response. So it's a pretty complex automation. There are four actions and all it took me is just 10 seconds of prompting Bardeen in the correct way. I'm going to click on done and I'm going to give it a shot. I want to try it out. Let's click on the card to execute. And then I'm providing the context. Here I want to say I'm not interested and don't email me again. And let's run the automation. Okay, and uh, there we have it. It addresses me by my first and last name. It talks about the context. Uh, new online shopping platform and all that. This could have been an entire business, an entire app that was built by just prompting Bardeen with what you want done. And the implications of this to your productivity are tremendous. I think the real magic comes from two things. Number one is that Bardeen is contextual. It knows the currently open page that you have in front of you, so you can do different type of operations with it. And you can also grab information from your favorite apps and feed it to other actions. And number two, is that you can use AI tools like OpenAI in combination with the apps that you already use. So there is this extra layer of context without which OpenAI is not all that useful. Without context and data, AI tools are not as powerful as they can be with Bardeen. In the age of AI, context, not content, is king. Now let me give you a couple insights about how the magic box actually works. We've trained our AI on the catalog of publicly available playbooks. So Bardeen takes all of that information from hundreds and hundreds of playbooks that we've built in the past and tries to figure out what you're trying to do based on how playbooks were built in the catalog. And we're rapidly expanding this catalog, meaning that more data, better results. Let me give you an example. Let's take a look at this automation. It is going to send an email to all participants of the current event. So let me go ahead and pin the automation to see how it looks like on the inside. Let me open it in the builder. So it's going to find the current event and it's going to find the email addresses of the participants and it's going to send them an email. So based on this automation and automation similar to that, we can build something of our own using the magic box. For example, let's try to send an email to the participants of the last meeting this time and tell them that this was an awesome meeting and I am looking forward to the follow up action items. Ask to send those to me. Okay, let's check it out. Boom, here we have the automation over here. 
So it finds the last event instead. It gets the email addresses of the participants. And then here it creates text for the email body using the information that I provided earlier. And then finally we have the send email action using all of this information. The interesting thing is that in our catalog, we have a lot of OpenAI generated playbooks and they use the merge text action, which combines different strings of text. This is why AI also used the merge text action, but it only used one field. So it actually doesn't merge anything, but it works as expected. Let's click on done and go ahead and try out the automation. It should run with just one click. Okay, just like this, our email was sent. Let's open it up. And here we have the body of the email. I just wanted to thank you for the awesome meeting that we had. I'm looking forward to the follow-up action items. Please send them to me as soon as possible. By the way, the body of the email was also created with OpenAI, but you didn't see the OpenAI action inside the builder itself. This information was automatically inferred from your prompt and added to the automation itself. Another one of the most powerful features that Bardeen has is the Bardeen Scraper. It allows you to copy information from different websites and you can use the magic box to extract information automatically to your favorite apps such as Google Sheets, Notion, Airtable, you name it. Let me give you a little demo. Let's open up Bardeen. And from here, I want to get information from the current LinkedIn profile and add it to a new Google Sheet. Let's build this automation. It looks good to me. I'm going to click on save and run. Let's click on the card, pick the spreadsheet that I want to edit to, create a new spreadsheet, call it leads, just like this. And let's click on run this playbook. Okay, and a new spreadsheet was created named leads. And here we have the information from that LinkedIn profile page. So this is how we build the automation. Now, what you can do is you can go to another profile, for example, Artem over here, I'm going to open up Bardeen one more time, collapse it just like this, and let's run this automation once again. Let's add the information to the spreadsheet called leads. Remember input. Let's click on view. And just like this, another lead was added to our spreadsheet. So you might be thinking, how does Bardeen know what information to extract? It currently uses the currently available scraper templates, so the templates that you've built before, and it tries to match them to the currently open page. In the future, we're going to unlock our public catalog of pre-built scraper templates so that you don't need to even build scraper templates from scratch. If you click on the scraper tab, you'll see all of the scraper templates that you've built in the past. Here's a list. So the magic box is going to use the most relevant out of the ones that you have there. Remember to build one, you can just click on create new scraper template and there you have it. Another really cool use case that many people might not think about is the ability to leverage your data and have it on your fingertips, being able to play around with it. You can export information from your integrated apps just like this. For example, let me create a cool automation. Let's create a spreadsheet with the list of all of my Google Sheets. So I want to get a list of all Google Sheets that I have as a Google Sheet. Let's try it out. Find Google Sheets and then add rows to a Google Sheet. All right, let's see what it does. Let's run this automation. The output Google Sheet will be a new Google Sheet, and let's call it My Sheets. And let's go ahead and run this. I'm excited. All right, let's click on View. And <laughs> there are all of my spreadsheets. Let's scroll down to see how many I have. So many demo sheets, as you can see. I probably have millions of lead sheets. Yeah, just like this, 277 without the first row. That is pretty insane. And here I have all of my links, just like this. I can do exactly the same thing with all of my meetings. So let me go ahead and do exactly this. Get all of my meetings as a spreadsheet. Yes, and let's run this. Create a new sheet, call it my meetings. And here's a spreadsheet of all of my meetings I've had in this event. 
this is what I mean when I say my data on my fingertips. I can even transfer all tasks from say Asana to ClickUp or vice versa. Now here are a few limitations that I want to share so that you can learn the tool faster and be on your way to becoming a Bardeen Pro. Number one is that under descriptive prompts are probably going to result in an error. For example, here we have a Twitter profile. And if I say something like get the profile to Sheets, and try running the automation, it actually worked. Okay, this was descriptive enough. This automation was scraped this Twitter profile and added to the spreadsheet. Okay, let me let me try something less descriptive once <laughs> once again. Something like save it to sheets. Yeah, this is this is the playbook I was looking for. It wouldn't work. <laughs> it's going to extract HTML from the page and add it into a Google Sheet. So it didn't figure out that hey, you can scrape information from Twitter. Limitation number two, speaking of the scraper, Bardeen is going to use the scraper templates that you have built, not the scraper templates from the catalog just yet. So make sure to build your scrapers first, and then you can use the magic box next in order to build your automation. In the next few months though, you'll be able to tap into those public scraper templates for the most popular websites on the web, such as LinkedIn, Airbnb, what else is there? Amazon, Google Maps, and many other popular websites. Finally, the third limitation is support for the conditional statements. For example, if something is true or something is false, you can have separate logic. We're currently working on supporting the conditional statements, so stay tuned for that release. I want to leave you with one of my favorite quotes. The future is already here, it's just not evenly distributed. William Gibson. 2023 is definitely the year of artificial intelligence and this is the artificial intelligence decade. The magic box flips no-code automations industry and internal tools upside down. You no longer need to be a technical no-code pro. You don't have to have internal developers to build tools for your team. You no longer need to spend days or weeks building tools to make your work more effective. All you need to do is type what you want done in the prompt and watch the magic happen. Hence, the magic box. To learn more about the magic box and try it out, make sure to follow the link in the description.